What's happening, watch fans? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I've got a, a little special delivery here. This is from Stratton. Stratton watches. You can uh, buy these at uh, strattonwc.com. And what I'm really excited about is checking out kind of a couple of their newest watches. Now, these watches aren't mine. They're for review and evaluation uh, provided by the guys at Stratton to take a look at. I'll give you a little peek of the two watches here. And I'm, I'm super excited to, to take a look at them because, you know, I've never been able to look at a Stratton before. And, you know, I've just always been intrigued. I think they're really high style. So first of all, looks like... I'm not sure if this will come with the uh, the watch order, but I'm assuming it might. Uh, you know, what we have here is kind of a distressed leather looking package, you know, watch case, which is great. Obviously this one is a two watch case because we have two watches separated by a like pleather uh, insert as well. So uh, let me just pull these out here. Now Stratton is uh, pretty unique in that they they like i said they go for some pretty high style they go for a little flash they kind of stand out you can see the strut and buckle there it looks really nice this is a nylon strap obviously and kind of like a racing livery and then i don't know this looks like a uh, tool so we have a watch band removal tool there for focuses in and again i can't promise you what and will not be included in your purchase in a link pusher tool there but the fact that they're here in this evaluation set is kind of promising, pretty promising. And I also will say that because these watches are pre-release watches, there are going to be a couple of changes. Now, they may not be anything of any substance that matters to you by the time you get yours or, or order them and then have yours delivered. Uh, in fact, I think the ones that you will get when they get delivered to you will actually just be a little bit better. I, I even have wrote down some notes on things that I think they will include. So first of all, let me just pull up. This is the one I'm more intrigued by. And I'm, you know, I don't usually do two watches in a review, but I'm gonna do these uh, in one review only because they're pretty similar. Obviously they're the same type of watch, um, but maybe just a different model, or I'm assuming a different model between the two of them. So. They should be pretty much pretty much the same. I mean, you can just generally expect a very similar, you know, take on them. Now, I will tell you that as I'm looking at them, we have uh, two different movements. And that is, you can tell that because this one, I believe, is quartz. You can see the ticking second hand there and no date window. This one has the day and date window and uh, is not running right at the moment. So, or at least, yep, it's not running. So, uh, I just think it's, uh, the movement needs to be wound. And, just give it a little, looks like a screw down crown, and I'm assuming that's gonna be on both. So there we go, got that popped out, and now I can start winding the movement. All right, got it running. You can see the subset window there of the second hand now ticking away on this Valjo 7750 movement, I believe, day date, date movement. Um, automatic, obviously, on this one, and this one is a uh, VK67 no date mecha quartz movement. So not only is it a quartz, but uh, what I really love, and I think I explained in one of my older videos on maybe the Ferro watch, uh, that the mecha quartz um, has like mechanical watch components attached to a uh, quartz movement. So when you get to using the, like the stopwatch feature, they just feel very automatic. So if I were to hit this um, stopwatch button right there, start and stop, and then the bottom reset, you just get these really distinct clicks like it's an automatic watch. Uh, so mecha quartz are really kind of interesting. Now, um, the other thing I will say about this is that the final coating on the cases is not applied on these. Now, I believe they're gonna do a clear DLC coating. Now, I don't know of any other company using a clear DLC coating to give it that diamond-like hard finish, really wear resistant, but I think that the Citizen uh, Altacron may use a clear DLC coating. I'm not entirely sure about that, but either way, they will be pretty innovative in using that with these. Um, first of all, I will say, 
like I said, just man, I, I love the look of these watches, right? They are kind of unique, uh, somewhat cushion shaped, and not just the case, but kind of the, you know, they all they almost look like those old cathode ray tube TVs to me, uh, but a little bit of Sierra or kind of the old school Omegas on them, um, you know, the Tag Heuer Monaco's. It seems to have a lot of language from a lot of different watches that I really just love. Like, you know, I like how wide and blocky and square it is because I really like some bold watches and then they're also you know pretty tall and uh, big here now there are a couple of differences between the watches in terms of size the quartz like this one here is only 13 millimeters thick and the automatic is an extra two millimeters so it's 15 millimeters thick and here I've got it on my wrist and as you might be able to see here you know it looks great it's kind of like a concrete stone like gray i think it looks great a kind of sandblasted look and so you don't have to worry about fingerprints on it but man you know it's the cool thing about these you know square watches they're just they stand out they catch your eye and you can see here that uh, it kind of brings the top and the bottom in a little bit right like square steering wheels you don't you don't have a circular case and so it comes way out there so it kind of fits on your wrist i think in a really comfortable comfortable way and as you can see here they're a little interesting too because there's a beveled edge down the bottom and then a really large one that kind of goes up and so it looks like a really blocky case but there's a lot of contour to it and a lot of curvature and looks great you can see the crystal there um, slightly curved rising up from the case just a little bit and then if we take a really close look here we've got the Stratton logo on the crown with some angle cut uh, lines there uh, knurling like a spline you've got two pushers here I think it really looks and feels like stone and the, the watch feels hefty and really nice and then if we look at the um, the face here and the dial I just, this is the part that I really am in love with. Man, I could just kind of look at this. I think, I don't know, even their font on the Speciali Mecha Quartz here kind of looks like Maserati to me. You can see the uh, Chrome logo right there. You can see that we have like applied borders around each of the subdials, right? And orange hands. Minutes are all checked off, I think. Oh, it looks like this is a tachymeter all the way around here. So on this really um, eggshell-like outer ring, you've got a tachymeter. And like applied hour markers with little red pips. And it looks like we have probably super luminova on all these hour markers. And then also on the straight hands, the polished hands with little orange tips. And then orange stopwatch hand as well. I mean, just looks great. I love all of the... The sub markings on this inner chapter ring, or this, the what's in the inner ring to that outer bezel, just really, really gorgeous. And uh, obviously, if it's super luminova, we'll roll that in. But man, I really like this, and that blue is just kind of a little iridescent. Looks great, galley. I just love a little bit of kind of that old school vintage. But you look at it, and you don't think this watch was built, you know, 30, 40 years ago. It looks feels obviously like a, a new modern watch but just stands out you know so many watches and i i like a lot of the micro brands kind of doing their own thing but you know it's always a standard cushion shape a, a round case you know maybe a little bit of difference on materials or really the dials where they kind of exercise their creativity but to do something that's really really different across the board is is great uh you, as you can see here we have um, no extending lugs. The the watch band gets kind of uh, married to the case in a recessed cutout. You also have this back, screw down back here, that looks like a speedometer. And that's pretty cool. And I like the fact that it kind of looks like a cast piece and, uh, you know, feels nice. Beautiful band. I really, I love the orange and the blue here. You may have gone to a college with that color combo but man look how look how nice that ties in with the the dial of the watch i mean i'm i'm a i'm a guy that has a propensity for replacing watch bands but this one is perfect 
you know perforated here sport watch you know it's kind of looks like to me and i maybe you know i may be seeing what i want to see but i'm kind of seeing like the squared off steering wheel of like a race car uh the you know kind of the dials of a, a race car obviously rally like strap feels looks great i love this bright orange underneath although you won't no one will really see that except for you but looks looks fantastic in the stratton brushed uh buckle right there so that is a beautiful beautiful watch i really like it this one is obviously with that automatic movement and again a similar case back this one looks like it's more polished though uh, with the speedo on it and black and again both of these the final finish i think might be just a little bit different and understand they were handled so they're they're not uh like coming out of the package brand new but um i think if anything the the final finish on the case will be better when the, that coating is applied uh, but here even the pushers and the crown which are very similar are also all black and so this one has a really racy look kind of a murdered out look and i really like it and again black case black band uh, the same orange treatment of perforations which tie it to the dial here so if we look here again everything on this dial is black uh, even the the borders on the sub dials here all black and again same hour markers in kind of a polished finish with uh, orange highlights on everything uh, this one is the only difference here between this and the other one really from a user perspective is that it has the day date there too right so I do have the crown pulled out from where I was using it or winding it up before so the last position is pulled out all the way I didn't get it there and now we can go ahead and set the time and again I'm sure super luminova on everything so push it in here tighten it back down screw down crown obviously um, no advertisement on water resistance but I'm sure decently and then standard automatic movement so we get a really nice click on the press there for stopwatch stop and then down here to reset and it kind of quickly flies back now um, you'll have to forgive it for not being lined up again pre-production models so beautiful beautiful watch might as well throw this one on too and uh, a matching black buckle on here uh, for me and you know like I probably a lot of you you may prefer the automatic so I don't think you know, if you really like that automatic look or the automatic movement, uh, you know, this is going to be only just a little bit thicker, but I couldn't even tell you that it was thicker uh, by eyeballing it. So this looks, looks and feels great. You know, you're not going to be able to tell anything. I, I can't even tell if there's a weight difference per se, but man, this is a good looking watch. Just really sporty I love the busyness of the dial I mean I like really simple dials sometimes too but I love the fact that there's just a lot of information again that tachymeter on that outer bezel so um, just a really similar setup but you know all kind of all that detail just really looks great and you know it's kind of to me you look at it you see a lot of technical information so it feels high-tech right I don't know that that should sway you but it, it does also looks like there's anti-reflective coating on it so I shimmer it here just a little bit. So what a great watch. What a great, great watch. Um, I will also say that the last thing that I'll throw out there is I believe you can customize these for the most part. Um, upgrade them to a like a metal band. Usually that's about 50 bucks. So, you know, between these two color combos and then I think there are three more color dial options and i think you can get it in any movement you want so if you like this but you want it in the automatic you like this and you want it in the mecha quartz you can do that as well as kind of step up to a different band if you like that too but these leather bands are absolutely phenomenal uh, the other thing that i was checking out on stratton is that they are not brutally expensive you know they they aren't a giveaway watch right they're they're not a bauble to purchase um you do have to be intentional about it because they do cost a little money but uh you know when you compare these to some of the other bigger name brands that would charge let's call it 13 14 fifteen hundred dollars for uh, a quartz watch and i think you will say that wow i'm getting a lot of style and man they feel great um, a lot of style and really awesome construction and a really avant-garde design for a really great price now that being said pre-order pricing is extended to march 31st which is 25 percent off what the retail pricing or the final pricing will be on these so if you do want these and want to kind of book a, a, a discount 
ahead of time, you know, check it out at strattonwc.com. I'll put a link to the watches below here, but the Speciale, I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming it's Speciale, not Special. The Speciale watch, I think, is something that's really awesome. Now, these do have to go on to another reviewer. I think maybe they're going to Aaron Dunlop or, or uh, Watches Galore, so we'll get these out on the road again. But um, I'm wondering if anyone would miss them if they just, just kind of disappeared. Because <gasps> I would love to have them. They're pretty awesome. Check it out. Peter Von Panda, out.